for the posterior, for the posterior cervical spine exposures, uh, we have traditionally used a midline cervical incision. The patient is most often, or if not always, placed uh, in a simple prone position with the neck flexed, and uh, obviously a significant flexion is avoided, and uh, at least two finger breadth is left between the chin and the chest to uh, uh, provide ample amount of space for venous uh, return. It is important to note that it is often very tempting for the surgeon to grab the pinion with the head and flex the neck forcefully to increase the working distance between the lamina and increase the space between the inion and the area of the posterior cervical spine to improve 